next, uh, we come to Professor Tilushu Shastri. Yes, yes. Uh, Professor Tilushu Shastri is here, former dean at uh, I am Bangalore, and we are coming um, uh, to you, to our audience, uh, from uh, none other but uh, from right from Bangalore itself. So, uh, uh, Professor Shastri, please free at home. Uh, please uh, feel free to be at home. You are at home, and uh, thank you for your time. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you and good morning, sir. And it's an honor to be here. Uh, I am not very um, knowledgeable about uh, legal affairs. Uh, I suspect that uh, I have been invited here because of our work with the Association for Democratic Reforms. So I will only make one offer because I am not competent to speak on legal issues. That please tell us how we can help you. Uh, and uh, I, what I anticipate is that we may be able to help reach some of the unreached to our own uh, networks, which are all over the country. So we will be happy to help you in whatever way we can. And uh, another uh, couple of thoughts I thought I would mention. Uh, you know, this is a very grand initiative and one feels uh, highly energized because one of the few rare occasions where a group of eminent people is working together entirely without self-interest and for the good of society. And uh, that is very, very uh, energizing and inspiring. So usually these initiatives, they uh, take off uh, much more successfully when there is a core team of people who are willing to devote full time to it. So I can see uh, that at least one uh, managing director is there, and I am sure that she is assisted by a very able team. Uh, we would like to engage with that team uh, and the managing director to understand in detail how we can help them. That is one uh, point I wanted to make. And the other thing is, uh, you know, uh, much of the legal work is in the hinterlands of India. Uh, by uh, the people who require uh, legal aid are people who do not know English. And those who, I mean, by and large, there's a large number of people who uh, do not know English and who are uh, suffering because of various reasons. Uh, so we have to have some way of uh, reaching the unreached uh, beyond the <clears throat> confines of the Supreme Court and August. Uh, you know, groups and bodies like this, how do we reach those people? Then we can help you a little bit in that. We do not promise that we can help each and every person. And the last comment I'll make is the future is always with the youth. And uh, we should seriously consider uh, just a suggestion to this August group, uh, getting some uh, younger people, maybe in a group of 35 to 45 who are not very, very young, but have 10, 15 years of experience uh, who are fired up by this mission and also charge them uh, with uh, the job of expanding our reach. So these are some suggestions uh, uh, I presume to place before this August body. Uh, thanks a lot for inviting me. Uh, I rather suspect that one of the persons we all admire, that is Justice M. Venkata Chalaya, had a uh, role to play in ensuring that uh, I'm also here. Thank you, sir. Uh, namaskaram for that. And it's an honor to be uh, as part of this panel of such a distinguished uh, group of people. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, we will engage uh, in detail later if, if required. Thank you.